Wala pa tayong divorce dito sa Pilipinas, pero baka naman! As of this recording, dalawang countries lang sa buong mundo ang wala pang divorce. Tayo dito sa Pilipinas at ang Vatican City. But recently, the Senate approved a consolidated absolute divorce bill. So, magiging batas ba tong bill na to? Let me explain in the simplest way that I can on how a bill becomes a law. First, someone needs to write and file a bill in the Congress, which includes both the House of Representatives and the Senate. Ang bill, simply put, ito yung proposal na gusto ng isang congressman or senator na maging batas. And the only person who can write and file a bill in Congress is either the congressman or the senator. That's why Congress is called the legislative branch. We make legislature. Like me, a congresswoman who is part of the House of Representatives, syempre, separate yung mga meetings na nangyayari sa Senate and sa HOR, but the congressman or a senator can file one identical bill. This is what we call the counter part bill in either of the houses. So a bill can have either one author or several co-authors. And once it's filed, magkakaroon niya ng House Bill or HB or Senate Bill or SB. And under the Constitution, a House Bill or a Senate Bill has to have one subject and one title only. Once a bill is filed, magkaka first reading and it will be referred to the appropriate committee depending on the subject matter of the bill filed. In Congress kasi maraming mga committees yan like agriculture, energy, trade, etc, etc, etc. And I'm part of 21 committees. Gosh. During committee meetings, we invite experts depending on the subject matter and they can give their comments, their approvals, if they reject it, or whatsoever na alam nila because sila naman yung may expert doon. So the committee will discuss, look into the comments, and then create what we call the substitute bill. So itong substitute bill, titignan niya ng lahat ng mga members of the committee and if it gets passed, then there becomes a committee report which we will submit to the committee on rules and the committee on rules will decide if it's go for the second reading. So if you've seen this video, when I was talking about Davao Live, yan yung nangyayari during the committee hearing. So take note, yung naririnig nyo sa news the Senate already approved the absolute divorce bill, nandito pa po tayo sa approval ng committee level. Sa second reading naman, yung chairman or yung author ng bill will be the one to defend now their bill on the floor to convince all other members to get a majority vote to pass this bill. So after defense, defense, magkakaroon ng period of amendments or edits kung meron man and it will be now passed on second reading. Once passed ng second reading, magkaka third reading na and bawal na yung mga amendments and they just have to vote yes or no. And then, when you get the vote of the majority of Congress for your bill on third reading, then this gets passed in Congress pa lang. What does this mean? When we pass it on third reading sa HOR, then we refer it directly to the Senate for them to go through the entire process again. Meaning, they have to go through the first, the second, and the third reading as well. Pag okay na sa Senate, magkakaroon ng bicam team who will look into that whole bill that was passed. And this usually shows how important or urgent the bill is and every Every senator and congressman who's part of the BICAM has to agree on all the provisions. And once that's passed, we send it to the president. But take note ha, hindi basta-basta yan. Because if the president doesn't like it, he can veto it. As in, pwede niya sabihin, no, I don't like this law, I will not sign on it. Hindi siya magiging batas and he will write his reasons why he vetoed it. Pero, Congress can actually override his veto. This overriding of the veto means two-thirds of Congress have to vote no President, we want this law passed. Pero pag binito ni President and there's no two-thirds vote, then down the drain and start all over again. Shucks! Kaya dapat maayos talaga yung mga bills natin before it even reaches the President because he can just say no and then down the drain lahat ng work natin. But if no issue and the President likes the law, then he signs it and when he signs it, it has to be published in the official gazette and now this bill becomes the law. Sounds simple, but in actuality, ang hirap niya talaga, guys, because you have to convince the congressmen and the senators to say yes to this bill, plus the president. So please, don't go around misinforming people na may divorce tayo sa Pilipinas. Hindi pa po. Nandito pa po tayo sa first level. Sorry! We have to go through the process. This is Congresswoman Attorney Mix Negrales, here to make the law simple for you. Ask me, PBA, Tanaba Attorney, Ampin Kanunay.